Hi. Um, right, I just wanted to show you um, some spices, herbs and spices, which I was talking about in my last video. Now, uh, some of them are spices, some of them are products which I found which are gluten-free. Sorry, not gluten-free. Uh, low in carbs, carb-free, low in carbs. They are actually gluten-free as well. Um, so, I've got loads of spices and I kind of got uh, the standard ones which you'll probably have at home anyway which are things like uh, cinnamon, cumin, coriander, paprika, uh, ground ginger, ground turmeric, ground chilli powder. Um, I also use um, garlic granules which are great for um, putting into things like uh, meatballs, um, sauces, things like that. I also use onion salt and I use that as well in uh, sauces and to add flavour to meat. Now, obviously, if you're putting something like onion salt in something, you probably don't need to add normal salt. So just taste, taste your food as you go along and then you'll know if you need to add. Obviously, don't don't put too much of that in it. You know, it's there as a background flavour, but they all help build up layers of flavour in your cooking. So, uh, other things that I use, uh, black onion seeds, uh, fennel seeds. Uh, black onion seeds, the flavour of these are, if you've ever had uh, naan breads from the supermarket, sometimes they have these black seeds in them. They're, they're called nigella seeds, but they're black onion seeds and they're really nice. You can put them on a salad, put them in, uh, in your meat as a marinade, it's really nice. Same with fennel seeds, the flavour of this is uh, a bit aniseedy. Um, if you've ever had like Italian sausage, salami and things like that, you normally find that fennel seeds are in that, that's the flavour of um, of, of salami. Uh, other things I use, so I buy all my chilli, garlic, ginger, I buy it in pureed form or chopped form um, and I buy, I normally buy both types, so if I buy chilli I buy it in the chopped and the puree form and I use them in different ways. The puree I would probably add to a sauce um, or a dressing and then the chopped chili I normally use in things like stir fries. Uh, same with the garlic you can buy it chopped or pureed. Uh, same with ginger you can buy that chopped or pureed. I normally buy both. Uh, another good one is lemongrass. Now if you buy uh, the sticks of lemongrass you normally you bash them with the back of a knife to bruise them. You then add them to your sauce and then that will impart the flavour. You then take the lemongrass out and you throw it away. So basically, however much that costs, uh, pound 20 say, uh, you've used that once and you've thrown it away. If that costs two pounds, I think I've had that for about two months and I've used it about 20 times. So. It's a good money saver. Uh, another one that I use, tomato puree, great for sauces. Uh, I actually use it in some stir fries as well. And I'll cook uh, with that one day to show you. Uh, horseradish, another great flavour. If you have in fish, you can add it to uh, low fat yogurt. Uh, you can add it to the lighter than light mayonnaise. Um, really, really nice. Great with smoked salmon. Uh, wasabi, if you buy this wasabi, it's not actually real wasabi, but it's, it's quite nice. It tastes like horseradish as well, but it's, uh, it's bright green and it's a bit, uh, it's a bit different. And it's nice, I like it. Uh, what else? Obviously Worcester sauce, I use that loads. I use that in pretty much everything. Uh, so soy sauces, I've got a Japanese soy sauce, 
this one's really really strong and you can see you can see how dark and sticky it is compared to this one which is a Thai mushroom soy sauce and you can see it's a bit more liquidy it's not so thick uh, so this one you probably don't need to use a lot of it um, not nice in a um, if you just want it as a like a, a dip uh, this one I use a lot in stir fries. It's great flavour. You really, really want to pick this up. So mushroom soy sauce, healthy, healthy boy brand. It's a good name, um, and you can get this from the Thai uh, Asian supermarket. Uh, and I use I use loads and loads of it. I think I've probably gone through about three bottles in the last six months. Another one I use is the fish sauce. Uh, this is brilliant I love it now if you smell it you probably won't like it uh, but it doesn't taste like it smells it's uh, if you add it to stir fries uh, or like Thai curries anything like that gives it a really nice kind of fr uh, fruity flavor it's amazing uh, another one I use is uh, liquid seasoning if you do uh, like a Thai fried rice, this is brilliant. Um, and if you've ever had a Thai uh, fried rice with chicken, then these are the two things that are the flavours that are predominant in it. The mushroom soy sauce and the liquid seasoning. You don't need a lot of that, by the way. It's, it's really, really strong. Uh, other ones, Tabasco sauce. I've just got the normal one. They do loads of different ones now. I think they do like uh, uh, the smoked chipotle ones and loads of different ones. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, oyster sauce, which is great in Chinese food, uh, stir fries. Um, some of them have got a few carbohydrates in there. But for the amount you're going to use, it's not going to affect you. Uh, vinegar as well. I've got apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar. They're great for sauces. Um, they kind of uh, balance out a sauce. If you if you want to add um, if you add vinegar to say a tomato sauce, say you want to add the balsamic, and you want to add a, a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, then you'd add a tablespoon of sugar and they balance each other out. It, it normally takes the sharpness away from a sauce um, and balances out the dish, which is really, really nice. Uh, other things, salt and pepper, obviously, that's, that's quite an important one. I use more uh, pepper than I do salt, and that's purely because I use a lot of the um, soy sauces and fish sauces, but you know, if I'm if I'm cooking something that's not um, Asian, then you know I need to season it with uh, with salt. For instance, a tomato sauce. I probably well I wouldn't put soy sauce in that unless it was going in something that was kind of Asian. Um, and I also buy different kinds of salt. So I'll buy um, the rock salt, sea salt, just normal kind of table salt, um, and they're great to use in different ways. For different dishes and then maybe further on down the line I'll I'll go through that and show you um, right what else have we got now I'll show you this one first you probably won't like this anchovies now I think the idea of for most people have eaten these I know my mum doesn't like them uh, is just the fact that oh they've got bones in or whatever but when you cook these they if you add these to a sauce they dissolve they disintegrate um, and it's it really just adds a depth of flavor to anything that you cook I love them I love them on pizzas they're amazing so uh, that's another one now the oil I use I don't use um, the normal oil I, I buy this this is the what's that called fry light which is in a spray so it's like a pump action spray these are brilliant this one's coconut so if you're doing a stir fry use that one uh, this one's olive extra virgin olive oil you can get other ones uh, i think they do a sunflower oil i think they might do like a garlic oil as well so it's worth picking up one or two of these 
And this, don't go out and buy this all at once. Just pick bits and bobs up as 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 you you're building up. You know your uh, spice rack. Uh, I think that's all of the spices. Oh, there's a couple more things here. Lemon and lime. These are great for seasoning, especially things like. Uh, lime for uh, Thai stir fries, Thai curries, um, anything with rice, lemon great with dressings, um, I put it in yogurt with some of the chilli, uh, but, but really nice, Gr obviously great with fish. Um, a couple of other products I've got, one I've used before, uh, one I haven't used before, um, and I'll show you the one I've used before. It's the bare naked rice. Now this is, uh, it's fat free. It's got zero, zero point one grams of fat in it. So it's fat free, very low in carbs, zero point one grams of sugar, uh, very low in salt. Basically, if you're on a diet, this is amazing. Now. They also do a noodle one as well, and I'll, I'm going to show you how to cook with these in another video, but these are well worth picking up. Um, I got these from, uh, you can get them from Tesco's or Morrison's, so if you're in the south, Tesco's, if you're in the north, Morrison's or Tesco's. Uh, and the other product I got, which got delivered today, which I'm really excited about, is this, which is called Lodo. And it is basically a, a very low carb bread substitute. So it says, uh, make pizza, kebabs and burritos with half the calories. In one piece is 39 calories, high in fiber, fat free, low carb, gluten free, dairy free, high protein, paleo, uh, sugar free, and vegetarian. Now, it comes like that in the bag. There's two pieces in that, so it's like a tortilla wrap. Um, you have to order it online. I'm pretty sure they don't sell it in shops at the moment. I sent them an email um, letting them know. Uh, what I was doing and they really generously sent me a free sample so I was really happy about that so I'm going to be using this further on down the line um, and showing you some different ways of maybe um, cooking with it but they have got if you go on their website they've got some brilliant pictures people have made pizzas uh, quesadillas wraps things like that but they've used them for pie cases um, so yeah that's a, a, a really good product now I'm pretty sure you know it hasn't got a patch on a nice piece of bread but if you haven't had bread for you know six weeks then you would jump at the chance of uh, having something that you could you know use as a wrap so I'm really looking forward to using that um, right I think that's probably it I've, I've gone through most of the seasonings that you're going to need um, if you're not sure about anything, then uh, put it as a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, and I'm going to try and do a, a cooking demonstration later on. Now the problem I've got is I'm only, uh, I've only got my phone at the moment. Um, so to film it all is quite difficult. So until I get better equipment, you're going to have to bear with me. But... Um, we'll do a cooking one later on and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, thanks. Bye-bye.